This is problem number seven from section 3.4. And this problem it says, suppose that the dollar cost of producing X appliances is C of X equals 1,000 plus 110X minus 0.2X squared. Part A, find the average cost per appliance of producing the first 150 appliances. So if they give us a cost equation, we know we can find the average cost. So for part A, we can find the average cost by simply taking the cost divided by the number of appliances. Well, for us, the cost is going to be C of 150, right, 150 appliances, divided by 150 total appliances. So let's go ahead and plug that in. We're going to end up with 150 being plugged in. That's 1,000 plus 110 times 150 minus 0 0.2 150 squared all over 150. When we divide that out, we multiply this on the top. This gives you 13,000 divided by 150. We go ahead and divide this. And when we divide that out, we end up with 86.67. So this would be the dollars, we would say this per unit for the first 150 units. So this is 86.67, that's the average cost per unit for the first 150 units. I'm just going to double check my math here. Yes. All right, for part B, they want to know, find the marginal cost when 150 appliances are produced. So this is $86.67 per unit for the first 150 units. Now as you produce more and more units, this should make sense, as you produce more and more units at a factory, the cost per unit decreases. Why does the cost per unit decrease? Well, um, the higher the production rate, uh, the easier it is to buy supplies and, and uh, essentially make those appliances for cheaper because you can buy the stuff, you can mass produce it. So you buy the stuff cheaper, then you can mass produce it, um, which instead of just producing like 10, you can produce a thousand in, the, in, the, in a shorter amount of time because you have things set up properly. Um, so you can just essentially, your costs as you produce more go down. So when they ask you for what a marginal cost is, they're really asking you, okay, What's the cost for an additional unit to this 150 appliances? So what would be the cost for, 150, for the 151st appliance? Because the cost for the first appliance was pretty expensive. The cost for the second was less. The cost for the 150th appliance was less than the cost for the third appliance and less than the cost, cost for the second appliance. So they're wanting to know what's the marginal cost. They want to know what's the cost for the 151st appliance essentially. Um, so we can go ahead and figure this out by taking the derivative. So the, the definition of our marginal cost, we'll say M, MC of X is going to equal the derivative of the cost equation. So we can say the derivative of that cost equation is 110 minus 0.4x. We take the derivative, we can essentially, whenever we find the slope, we're finding uh, the, the cost, right? Or the, we're finding the, the uh, essentially the, the cost per unit. Because that's, per unit, I mean, that is a slope. So that's what we're finding when we find the derivative here. That's what we've been doing this whole, this whole year. So we're gonna go ahead and say that we wanna find C prime of 150. That would be 110 minus 0 0.4 times 150. And when we plug that in, that tells us that at the 150th unit, or essentially the 
uh, 151st unit, right, the, the unit right after this, that's gonna just cost us $50. So the 151st unit, because it's now the 151st appliance that uh, we've produced, it's gonna cost us less than the average cost per unit for the previous 150. Because slowly over, over time, the cost per appliance is going to go down because you're producing more, you're, uh, you're uh, being able to uh, take your cost for each unit down, so on and so forth. So this is $50 here for the marginal cost. Remember that's the cost per unit after the first 150. Now it says show that the marginal cost when 150 appliances are produced is approximately the cost of producing one more appliance after the first 150 have been made by calculating the latter cost directly. So they're saying essentially marginal cost is not going to be the exact uh, cost for the next unit, but it's going to be an approximate. And they want you to, to figure out how you can tell that it's the approximate. Well, let's essentially, if they want us to, if they want us to figure this out, they want us to figure out uh, show that the marginal cost when 150 appliances are produced is approximately the cost of producing one more appliance after the first 150. What they want us to do, they want us to say, okay, let's take the cost for producing 151 units and let's subtract it from the cost. Oop, let me write that again. The cost of producing 151 and let's subtract it from the cost of producing 150. And that will tell us what the cost for producing the, essentially the 151st unit was. So let's plug this into our cost equation, which we have 1,000 plus 110 times 151 minus 0 0.2 times 151 squared. Minus, now we've already done C of 150, we know C of 150 was 13,000, so I'm just gonna put 13,000 right there. Plug this in the calculator, I get 1,000 plus 110 times 151 minus 0.2 times 151 squared. I get 13,000 49.8, this is dollars, minus 13,000. That gives you $49.80. So this is the cost for the 151st unit. You can see that these are very close. So we can say the marginal cost does approximate the cost for the additional unit.